I think that companies are just getting better at naming stuff that's fun. They're getting better at names. So a while back, we reviewed a product from a company called Mulala. No, it's Mulala like koala. Right. And it had no milk in it. No milk. This one's all about the milk. Mulala milk. I'm excited about this product because it's, it's my favorite product. Cheese. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, when we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Okay, so we haven't done a product review in a while, and I don't think there has been a product that I have been more excited to review than this one. Joe is part mouse, <laughs> and anything that has to do with cheese, he is like, let me pull up a chair, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here. And the worst part has been, this showed up on day one of our egg fast, and I looked at Rachel, I'm like, you know, we have to review it. No, you can't review it. He I'm was, like, but it's cheese. We're allowed to have cheese. She's like, no. He was humming in the background, cheese, glorious <laughs> cheese. But no, yeah, he had to wait. Okay, so I've been really good. I haven't looked at the ingredients on this. And um, yeah, I didn't even realize until we sat down to do this that this is like a frying cheese. Which makes me even more excited about that because isn't that the best? We love things that you like put on the grill. Like halloumi. Because it's like, it's like a bread cheese. Yeah. That's very thick and you really, I feel like get the full value out of your cheese when you get it this way because it takes you a while to eat it. Right. Okay, so we have five different flavors here. There's a little bit of copy on the back. How did I get plain? It says, in Wisconsin, when we say cheese, we mean it. Baked to perfection, this cheese forms a tasty crust while leaving oh. its inside full of ooey gooey goodness. Oh, yes. A celebration in every bite for every mouth. Served on its own or paired with your favorite dipping sauce, this cheese is going to have you grinning from ear to ear. So it says we have to grill it for six to eight minutes, skillet it for five to seven, or microwave it for two to three minutes. I feel like microwave's not gonna do Don't it Don't microwave this. So uh, it says heat with your preferred method, flip occasionally, ideal temperature is 155 to 165. What, let's go over our flavors. Look at how the barcode is the cow outline. That's cool, so you have plain. Yeah, how'd I get plain? What else you got? I got bacon, bacon. Bacon, bacon, roasted garlic. Yum. Pizza party. Oh my gosh. And hoppin' jalapeno. Aren't these fun names? These are fun names. So here's what we're gonna do. I've got the Blackstone going right now. Okay. We're gonna pause the video. I'm gonna cut off a piece, cause honestly I'd eat the whole thing. Don't be stingy. We gotta savor these things, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna cut off a piece of each one of these and we're gonna go fry them and we'll be right back. Best day ever. Okay, I have a question. No, you cannot just have this yourself and not share any with me. Well, that's not my question, but that's a good idea. Right? <laughs> How is it we have all of these delicious flavors, and the one that we cut the biggest piece of is plain? Plain. I don't know. I didn't cut it. <laughs> Mine would... If you were, if you could go back now, what would be your biggest thing? What are you anticipating you're gonna like the best? I don't know, I'm really excited about all of them. Here's the thing, I'm excited probably, aside from plain, although I love plain. Yeah. The one I'm probably least excited about is toasted garlic. Not that I'm not excited about it, but like if I had to pick, what would I buy in order without tasting? I am least. Gar plain would be the last one I would pick. Right. Then garlic, then bacon, bacon. And it's gonna come down to taste of whether I would order hop and jalapeno or pizza party first. Okay, so- Because pizza party just reminds you of pizza. mozzarella cheese. Yeah, so I'm gonna say that my least likely thing would be bacon. See, because it, it sounds weird for two keto people. I know, but sometimes it's like bacon flavored stuff does not taste like bacon. Okay, are you ready for yes. this? Okay, 
before we even taste it, so let me show you what this looks like. So this is the pizza party, and it's literally a cold piece of cheese. Um, it crumbles kind of easily, it went like this. It cut very easily. And then I put it on the Blackstone. I flipped it like kind of all the way around. And uh, this is what it looks like now. It's like nice and gooey in the middle. Look at that. that. That looks delicious. It's the perfect like mozzarella stick. Okay, so I've determined the order that we're going to eat this. Okay. Okay. I I'm agree in. with you. Plain is first. Plain. Then bacon, bacon. Then hop and jalapeno. I put garlic last because I feel like garlic is going to affect your taste buds the most. You think so? Yes. Not the bacon may be spicy, but jalapeno? garlic is gonna like, you know, garlic. Like I can taste the garlic when I kiss you like two days later, right? Are you saying the garlic you eat or the garlic I eat both. you taste? Yeah, both. So pizza party, then garlic, because I feel like those are gonna be the most lingering flavors. Normally I would say jalapeno goes last, but there's no warning label on this that says it's gonna burn your face off. So I'm assuming it's not gonna be that bad. Jalapeno is usually about flavor, not heat. So yeah. let's start. Okay. We're gonna go with plain. Plain. Ooh, that's nice. I get the bigger piece. Like, I always get the bigger piece when it comes to cheese. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save my pieces. I, I am too. Hmm. I can't confuse this with with yours. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so I got a little plate over there. That'll right. be your plate. Next up is bacon. It's, you get the bigger piece. I can see bacon. Okay. It's got a great bacon flavor. Wow. Rub your tongue around the outside of it. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah. This would be really fun for a kid. Mmm. All right. I'm trying to think of... It's, got, it's not It's not like punch you in the face bacon. You got a it's bigger just, piece again. It's just What's you, going on I'll here? I'll trade no, you. No, it's fine. I, I, I'm going to eat the whole rest of the block. Again, I see the jalapeno, but it's like little tiny pieces. Yeah. But again, jalapeno is about flavor. I smell it though. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Okay. It's got a... It's got a tongue spice. A little bit, not not bad, but it's it's decent. You know what it reminds me of is a very strong pepper, mm -hmm. like a pepper. If you if you've ever had like a spicy pepper. Okay, I finished that one. That was good. Very good, but a little bit of a kick. If you don't like spice at all, I probably would avoid that. Okay. All right, now we get into these. Okay, so that piece is yours. <laughs> this is the one that you're most excited about. I feel. I am like. very excited about pizza pizza. Oh, it smells like pizza. Hmm. Hmm. It smells like yeah. pizza, but I thought there'd be much more of a tomato flavor to it. It's okay. I don't think I. So uh, far, I don't know. I'm going with hop and jalapeno or bacon. I don't know. I'm surprised bacon is is as good as it is. Yeah. Are you not saving that? No, you can eat that one. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put mine over the here. The big one. Okay. Here we go. And this is garlic. Now I love garlic. Oh man, I really want this to be awesome, like a breadstick. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. That's the best one. Ready for it's us? It's like a breadstick. Like it is like eating Texas Olive Coast. Garden breadsticks. Mm. It's got that texture and that mmm. That is good. It is like wow, getting I'm shocked. It is like when we used to buy Texas toast, like from Pepperidge Farm or something, in the refrigerator section. And really, the bread was just a conveyance. For the cheese. For the cheese anyway. So this is like the entire bread is the topping. Wow. That is money. Wow. Let's do five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review Dang, all good. products based on five things. I will fight you for that one. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one, the ingredients. Let's go to this. Ingredients. Pasteurized milk, salt, garlic, and enzymes. Mine's like milk, salt, and enzymes. Like that is it. On plain. Pasteurized milk, salt, dried tomato flakes, basil, oregano, and enzymes. Okay, so for bacon. I'm gonna take a guess on this one. Okay. Go ahead. 
For bacon, the bacon is comprised of water, salt, sugar, sodium nitrate, smoke flavoring, dextrose, brown sugar, sodium phosphate, sodium erythrobate, sodium ascorbate, potassium chloride, and flavoring. That's just the, the bacon. bacon. I'm not worried about that. Okay. You want to guess? In the jalapeno? Yeah. Jalapenos? So One would hope. Pasteurized milk, jalapeno peppers, salt, and enzymes. Super clean. Wow. Like that is clean ingredients. This might might be a question mark. I mean, for me, if you're just trying, if you have all of these other ones to choose from. Oh, like, yeah. I'm going straight for that yeah. yellow but package. I, am I worried about the ingredients in the bacon? No. no. I mean. It's so uh, tiny. Like, yeah. I don't know if you can, like, if yeah. you can see I mean, that. It's, it's little pieces it's like, of bacon bits. It's like little, t smaller than a bacon bit yeah. in there. Okay, number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? Let's They're all going to pretty much be the same, yeah. I'm assuming. So, well, the plain is 110 calories per serving, 8 grams of fat, 7 grams of protein, less than one total carb. This one too. And um, zero fiber. This one, the uh, bacon bacon is 140 calories. Um, it's wow. got 10 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, um, and still less than one total carb. Uh, all of these rest are the same. 110 calories. So it's eight only grams the bacon. of fat, seven grams of protein, less than one so total carb. So not surprising carb. though. It's gonna add fat. It's bacon. Definitely, it's cheese, right? I always say an ounce of, oh, by the way, a serving size is- Not the entire package? One ounce. Dang and it. so there are, I it says varied servings per container. Okay, so mine could be the entire brick. Well, it says say on the front eight ounces. So, so there's eight servings in here. Okay, I'm number. Not, I'm not gonna eat responsibly. Three. How do they taste? They're so good, but I feel like okay. The plain is awesome. The garlic is flipping amazing, and this one is spicy. But I feel like these are kind of wasted. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna put right up here on the screen, actually right here. Okay. What our original pick was of what we would buy. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put over here. This is my order that I'm buying. Yeah. One. Yep. Two. Uh huh. Three. Mm -hmm. Four. Dead last. I'm so I'm shocked because usually you like pizza stuff, but, but that's the that that is my order buying. This is number one. This is number two. Then bacon. Or no, yeah, and then plain. And then the pizza party. I'm gonna go weird too. I feel like you're gonna put the bacon at the bottom. Mine's gonna be garlic first, then plain. Because oh. they, it's really good. Then I would probably go in for jalapeno, and then bacon, and finally pizza party. So so we both pretty much agree. Not the pizza party's bad, it's just not what I was, I was expecting like a pizza dipper. Actually, if I'm being super accurate, number one would be this, and then number two would be this, and then three would be this, and then four also this, and then five that. Speaking of number four, how much do they cost? I have their website up here. So you buy more and you save more. Which you should. I think that's good. Look at it, buy more moolala mm -hmm. and save more moolah. Oh my gosh, that's so, so cute. So three to five blocks, nine seventy five per block, which honestly is it's gonna sound bad. like it's expensive. That is pretty much right in the line with halloumi cheese. Yeah, because that's the thing. This is not. And that's just plain. This is not like a soft cheddar, like you're getting in a brick form at Aldi's. Right. This stuff is gonna hold up to things. I mean, it's a meal in itself. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, that is the normal price for a frying cheese, a good frying cheese. Yeah. If you buy six to eight blocks, it drops to 950. If you buy nine or more, uh, it drops to nine dollars. I'm gonna put a link down below. Now, at the time that we were filming, we are not affiliated with them at all. No. They just sent it to us, asked if we'd like to try it. And we're like, cheese? Um, yes, we we'll I have that. messaged them and asked them for a coupon code. If they do give us a coupon code, uh, I will leave a the link for that down below in the description. Again, we wouldn't be making any money, but we just asked them, like, hey, we're doing a review. Yeah. Can you save some people some money? But it, it is really good, and it's Crazy a little good. high in price, but not for what you're getting. Yeah, I was gonna say, if this was just a straight up cheddar or a Gouda, I'd be like, okay, this is good, but but too expensive. But this is, like, if you've gone to Trader Joe's and you're buying the halloumi cheese, yeah. you're in that area. Honestly, the price is what's gonna keep me from eating the whole thing in a sitting. Right. Number five, would we recommend it? Yes. Absolutely. But if you're trying- How much, what is my cheese budget? I know, right? Like, well, you're gonna have to get nine of them. Seriously. <laughs> but um, 
If it does you, have a three block minimum I'm seeing up there. If you are purchasing it because of the weird flavors, I don't think that you'll be that excited because I don't think pizza packs a punch. I really don't think the bacon bacon is so overwhelmingly bacon, but I think how delicious would it be to make our like blue cheese dressing right? and then like have these little dipper guys or just use them. Any, oh, cheese dipped in cheese. Any, yes. any flavor with like the Rouse tomato sauce mm -hmm. would be delightful. Yeah, I highly recommend them. I think they're really, really good. Yeah. Um, I highly recommend roasted garlic and hop and jalapeno, and then the plain as well too. That's a really good flavor. And it feels like a very fancy um, appetizer. Like mm -hmm. this would be great in the holidays, like make it into like little squares, yep. and then put them on the Blackstone because they just fry up, and then they can, I mean, they're holding up now. Like yeah. you'll really enjoy them. It's really good. So, well, that is going to be our review video of Mulala. Mulala. Cheese. Now, if you've tried this below, let us know down in the comment section and also let us know what your favorite flavor was. Yeah. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which we're gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we taste something new, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.